Hey y'all, the real Jimmy Roberts one here. We've got some stereoscopic 3D imagery to show you <laughs> that's going to knock you out. This is good stuff, folks. This is real. But first, I want to talk about the viewing methods again real quick. Uh, for those of you who don't know how to view the cross view 3D, sometimes we also write this as X 3D. And once again, thanks to David Gannett, the pioneer in all this that taught me these uh, the different methods on how to view stereoscopic images. Uh, he's a pioneer in this, and I just took it, kind of ran with it because we need this to prove our point. And if you want to view this in the cross view 3D, whereas you do not need any special glasses to view it, you do need two functional eyes. Uh, there's a link that should appear above me about now. Follow it. And in that video, we demonstrate how to do this. We're having great success with this. There's a few people that are having trouble with it, but we're having a lot of success. And we're very, very happy about this. Crossview 3D is the simplest and the clearest way to view these images. It is crystal clear. I believe many are finding out that the more you do this, the stronger your eyes get. You can just do it immediately. Now, if for some reason you cannot do it, and, and there are a few who just can't seem to get it, or maybe if you just don't want to because you're afraid you're going to go cross-eyed or blind trying, that's not the reason that your mother told you you were going to go cross-eyed or blind. Wasn't me. But anyway, if you would rather use the glasses, uh, I'm going to show you which ones I use for that. Now, remember, if it's a cross view 3D image, these are these are also called side by side 3D, cross view side by side 3D. Viewing that with the glasses, it's not going to look right, and vice versa. The ones that are for the glasses, and I know that a few people have told me, I, I think I see it in 3D for the with the other configuration. No, go back and look. It's really not. You'll notice something's kind of 3D-ish, but things will be out of place. It's not right. So if the configuration says it's for LR, which is left, right, 3D glasses, don't try to view it cross view. It, it's, it, it, it won't be right. Look at it and go, go back and look at the one for cross view and you'll see a big, big difference. Anyway, if you want to use the glasses, and we always will be running the ones that are configured for glasses after we run through all of the cross view images. Then we'll go to the ones for the glasses. We won't you know, switch back and forth. The glasses that uh, I use look like this. Uh, they are made by Berezin, Berezin? I, I don't know how to say it. Uh, B-Boy, E-R-E-Z, Zebra. I N Berezin, maybe they're about $30 and I really like them. They have a slider on top to change the focal point, And I am able to make these work with um, phones, with a tablet or uh, on a large monitor or up on a big screen. It seems to work with everything. It's the next best thing to doing the cross view. It's this style glasses. They're mirrored. Okay. This is what I recommend. Um, these are about 30 bucks. Now, also, there is this type. Uh, this is called the Owl Viewer. And uh, it was designed by Brian May, the guitarist for Queen. It is an English product. As you know, the, the British were really big on uh, stereoscopic stuff, and uh, there's a lot of old stereoscopic cards and stuff, especially out of England, that you can get and uh, look at it in 3D. They were doing this back decades ago, okay? This, though, I find to work best with, and by the way, it's about $15, I believe, about half the price of the other. And I find it to work best with... Um, your phone or maybe a tablet because what you do is you put it right there and um, 
It needs to be closer to you. When viewing on a large monitor, I'm not having any success with this. I just want you to know that. So if you're, if you're viewing on a monitor and you want to use the glasses, I suggest mirrored type, like the Berezins, or however you say it. Uh, if, but I think these work pretty good on phones and smaller objects. I think this is uh, actually designed for such. So don't be afraid of the owl viewer if you are viewing on smaller objects. Now, I'm done with all that. So here is one of the right mast cam images that we will be using for this. And another one of the right cam images, you notice the way they overlap. We will also be using that. As well as a couple of these, which is the left mast cam images that are taken at the same instance at least most of the time, thus giving us a left and right perspective. The left mast cam images do pixelate quite a bit when we enlarge them. That's why some of the images you'll notice are blurry.